We're going to look at a technique right now called high pass sharpening, where we're not going to be using one of the sharpened filters or any of the sharpened filters to sharpen our image. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what we can do with this. All right. I'm going to open up this picture because you're familiar with it, and then I'll show you the effect on a different type of image also. So let's get this image open, and let's bring it up to 100%. Expand it just a little bit here. All right, now let's go and let's make a duplicate of our layer. The way we're going to do that, you know, is just to hit the Command or Control J, and we have our new layer. All right, I'm going to call this layer sharp. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my blending mode on the layer. Right now it's normal, and I'm going to change it to overlay. And you can see that it uh, has a tendency to add a lot of contrast overall. Well, we're going to make this addition of contrast into a sharpening effect. And the way that we do that is we go up to the Filter menu, and we go to Other, and go to High Pass. And look what happens. Since we're in the Overlay mode, the High Pass filter, which normally is uh, shades of gray with a little bit of color in it, what happens here is the, satur the overall saturation goes away, and what we see is a sharpening effect. Now we can modify that sharpening effect using the radius slider here. So right now we have no sharpening effect, and we can take it all the way out and get something that's really uh, kind of gross. I mean, that, that's just way, way too much here. So let's take this back down to just a couple of pixels on the radius, maybe uh, 1.4, 1.5, and you can see that we've got quite a bit of sharpening here. Let's just click OK on this, and I'll show you how much sharpening we actually do have. Watch. I'll hide the uh, sharpened layer, and you can see that it's soft, and all of a sudden, the sharpening comes in. If it's a little too sharp, we can do a couple of things. We can always reduce our opacity just a little bit to bring it down to where we want it. Or the other thing we can do here is we can change the blending mode. Now, what I mean by that is we go back in here. We're in overlay mode right now. If I go to soft light, it actually softens the image just a touch, but it's still sharpened. Here, you can see when I turn the layer off and on, it's still sharper than the original background layer. So let's turn it back on, and again, let's look at the overlay. Now let's look at a different blending mode. Let's go to hard light. Hard light increases the sharpness even more. In some images, this may be too much. In some images, it may not be enough. But you can still, if it is too much, you can go back and cut back the opacity a little bit to minimize the sharpening or to take it down to where you want it if it is too much. Let's take a look at another one here. Let's look at vivid light. And that does add way too much sharpening. And again, we can bring this way down to decrease our sharpening here, and you can see that the image has been effectively sharpened. Neat, huh? But typically we'll use this in overlay mode. Now, let's look at a different type of image here. What I want to do is I want to go back to my bridge, and let's look at this portrait image. We're going to go in, and we are going to eliminate all of our sharpness within Camera Raw, and then we're just going to open it up. Now, first I'm going to go in, and I'm going to close my flower image, get that out of the way. And then we're going to take this image, and we're going to bring it up to 100%. We'll do that by double-clicking the magnifying glass tool, and now let's just move the image around and let's look at the eyes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my background layer, hitting Command or Control J. I'm going to change it to Overlay Mode, and now I'm going to go to the Filter menu to Other, 
and go with high pass. Okay, and I'm looking at this. Let's get the eye in here, and I can bring this up so that I have a little more sharpening in here. Okay, and if I over sharpen it, it uh, brings out a little too much in the skin. I'll show you some ways to take care of that a little bit later in a different, uh, different tutorial. But here we are with a radius of about oh, around 5. And one thing that we noticed, remember when we went back and did our sharpening from within Camera Raw? When we sharpened it, this area in here, the highlights, just absolutely wiped out because we got black lines around the highlights. And here we don't have that. So let's just say OK. And let's look at what our sharpening did for us. This without sharpening and with sharpening. Now, there are a lot of areas in here that we don't want sharpened. So this may be a little bit of overkill for us. But like I say, a little bit later I'm going to show you how to take care of that. I'm teaching you the basics right now. Let's look at some of the other blending modes. If we go to soft light, it mutes the sharpening just a little bit, but we still do have some sharpening in there. And it doesn't enhance the skin quite as much as the overlay mode did. If we go to hard light, as we expected, it gets uh, a little too harsh, and vivid light here is way too harsh. So let's go back to soft light. Let's reduce our image size down. And if we go down to 25% uh, here, we can see that we have some very nice sharpening in here. You can see it sharpen the hair, it sharpened the eyes, and also the, uh, the blouse. So this is a very nice way of sharpening. It does have its appropriateness, and it's something that is very easy to use once you get a little bit used to it.